Timu's become a common occurrence in my life. Hello friends and welcome back to the Misty Show. Today is going to be a little bit longer of a video because I have a ginormous Timu haul. So I want to first of all thank Timu for sending me these things. These are all in the home goods category. Um, this is a sponsored video, so thank you so much, Timu, for sending me these things and sponsoring this video. All the links for Timu are down in the description. So let's get into digging into these bags. I've got two big bags, or I think. There's a bag back there, too, but I've also ordered my own things that I'm going to be doing unboxings for. But these are in the home goods category. So, ooh. That was a little aggressive. Let's get into the box or the bags. Let's get into the bags. Okay, bag number one. Let's get into you. Reverse think of the items. Be born. Wow. Oh, you know what? This is the wrong bag. Hang on. Okay, got into the right bag. Timu's become a common occurrence in my life. Okay, this is the right bag because I see something right on top that I have been wanting to try. Be born. Be born. And that's this. Okay, so the box, well, I'm just going to say that, you know, everything came in a bag. So this is in a box and the box got a little smushed. I'm hoping that what's inside, which is a multifunctional dicer and planer for your veggies and stuff. Mark and I cook a lot together. And, um, you're always needing to slice and dice things. And I've always wanted to get one of these here things. And now we've got one. Okay, it's intact. Nothing was broken. But you put your veggies on here and you, you slice them. I'm not going to take it out of the bag because I do have to take this home. Oh, this is nice too because it's got the spike here. But you can put your tomato on there because, you know, tomatoes, you about cut your fingers off and you just go... So you'll see these in upcoming vlogs on my main channel, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, because I do daily vlogs and some of them will be like us cooking together. So you probably will see that in an upcoming video on there. Ah, oh, things are just falling out. We got a spatula. I, I love a good rubber spatula for cooking. And like I said, all of these are from like the, the home goods category. So there won't be any clothes. There won't be any jewelry, but stay tuned because I will be doing some of those videos here pretty pretty soon. This is nice if you're making a cake. You can use it to ice. It's nice and sturdy, but bendy where it needs to be. I don't know. I might have got a couple of these, but this is the first one. It's in this bubblegum pink. Yay. That's great. What is this? I think these... What are you? Oh, I know what these are. I got several different colors. These are refrigerator liners for your refrigerator shelves, which these came in just in time because I need, there might be another one in here somewhere too. I need to clean out my refrigerator and I will put in these to line the refrigerator. So those will come in handy. Okay, so these are little flowers. I like to, um, you know, I sell vintage and antiques. That's a lot on my main channel. Um, but with home decor, these are really pretty. I, you're probably going to see several because I think I got these in a couple different colorways. But they are just these little sprigs of flowers. Um, and I do believe that these were like 99 cents. So that's the thing with Timu. You can find a lot of very affordable things on there. I have so many things that are in this bag that I'm not going to be able to put individual links. And in my try-on videos, I sometimes will put a picture of the actual item. I'm not going to be able to have time to do that because I got a lot of things in here. So I'm just going to show you them. Um, and I, the, honestly, the best advice that I can give you when you're looking on things at Timu is just go on there and look because things run out sometimes. They'll run out of stock. They'll have something similar. Um, but honestly, go in there and look at the lightning deals because that's a really good thing to do. You can see what's on clearance. So you can get things sometimes for like 50 cents. So go on there and check it out. Okay, this box is a little bendy. Got a little bendiness in this box. What are you? Oh, I know what this is. This is a sealer to like seal bags, I think. 
to reseal a bag. And it is a USB and it's magnetic so you can stick it on your refrigerator. I thought this would be great for like potato chips. So you uh, just push this down. You can see that little bump thing pushes down. You can push them both down if you really want it sealed real good. Oh, it's already turned on. Ooh, will this work? Let's see. Well, that's okay. We'll try it with this bag. Let me cut it. Okay, so it's open here. I don't know if this is going to be uh, charged up enough to reseal it. Let's see. I mean, it did. I'd have to lay it flat, but yeah, you can see right there, it did seal it back up again. So I think for like potato chips and stuff, it does have a little USB charge so you can charge it, but you turn it on and off right there. I think that's kind of handy. I think that is a handy thing to have in the kitchen. I see these, this is something that I need to use now, like not right this second, but like meaning like I need to get this done and that's clean and scrub out my bathtub and shower. So we got these little scrubbers here. Let's see. I mean, I think that'll get the job done. Scrubbers for your sinks and your showers. They've got this nice handle on them. I think these are great. It, what you should do probably is keep these in your shower and after you get out of the shower, wipe down your wall, your tile in your shower. So they come in a two pack so I can put one in each bathroom to clean our showers. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I talk about my someday grandchildren. I am 48 years old and I'm looking at, I'm looking forward to being a Nana one day. And I thought these were adorable. So I just got them and put them back because, you know, I have these dreams of my grandchildren coming and spending the night with me. And, and, and over at Nana's house, we've got such cool little plates to eat our snacks out of. Look at these little Mickey Mouse shaped snack plates. They do stack, but look, you can put little, you know, kids don't like their food to touch. <gasps> those are adorable. Okay, I have to put those away in my hope chest because I'm, I'm not a grandma yet. What are these? Sometimes you forget what you bought because they, they do not include a packing slip. Bottle stoppers. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, you get a lot of them. I wasn't expecting to get so many of them, but um, these are for for olive oil. Um, I cook a lot with olive oil, so they are little bottle stoppers that go into your olive oil um, bottles. I think they have different spouts on them. No, they don't. Well, you could put these on olive oil, um, on some balsamic vinegar, uh, on my vanilla, because I use vanilla to syrup my soda pops. But you get one, two, three, four, six of them. Six of them, so those will come in handy for, you know, your balsamic vinegar or any kind of salad dressings that you may have. Okay, this is another one of those flowers that I just opened up. I think it's the exact same colorway, kind of a dusty rose. I mean, obviously, when you get these, you're going to have to, you know, sort them out. Let me go get a little vessel so we can see what they look like all prettied up in a, in a pretty little vintage vessel. See, you can just shape them up a little bit and they look really, really good in a little display. Um, either a glass jar or I like to put things in metal. So I think those, those are really cute. So yay, I'll definitely be ordering more of those. What's in this box? Ooh, this is a little neon sign that says good vibes. So I'm working on creating a little filming area for my uh, unboxings for this channel and I thought that this would be a really fun thing to put in the background. It is USB so that's kind of unfortunate. I wish it was uh, a plug-in but I have a little USB port right here that I can easily just test it out. Woo! Look at that. So I think that's pretty cool. It's neon pink. I know it's getting really washed out, but it has a little toggle switch so I can turn it on or off. A really nice long cord, and it has a little hole right here where you can hang it. So I think that would be cool. I have like a aqua blue door, so I think that that neon pink with the aqua blue door would be cool. It has actually two holes so you can hang it, but I like that. 
this is kind of rubbery. They had several different ones with several different sayings. That's cool. I like that a lot. These are, <laughs> my husband's going to be like, what the heck? So I, I wanted to try these. I think I just got a pack. Well, they are, and I saw them on the Timu site. They are for your floor. But you can make a checkerboard. So there's white and the seafoam green. I kind of thought I'd put it over there in my uh, little filming area over there. Um, they are plush puzzle for foam mats. You know, you've seen these a lot, the black uh, mats that kind of puzzle piece together for like a garage or a workplace setting. I don't know how well these are going to wear after a while, but yeah, you just puzzle piece them together and they've got this like foamy. I think maybe for like a child's playroom, you know, you just, I don't know how well they're going to do, but we'll give them a try. We will give them a try and see how they see how they hold up, how they perform. These are more flowers. Again, just know that when you get your stuff, it will be in little bags like this, and you're gonna have to form them again. Which honestly, when these, when you buy these at a store, they're gonna be shipped to the store the same way. Sometimes the store fluffs them up, but sometimes they don't. But you have to fluff them up and bring them back to life. These are really pretty, like a blush pink flower. Again, these will look really pretty in some vintage glass. As a, I'm just going to stick them in there. They don't really match, but we're just going to stick them in there. All right, what is this? This is, what are you? It doesn't say. Oh, I know what this is. I got this for my daughter. I think it's a blanket. My daughter is lives on her own. She's an adult. And she loves cows. She loves moo cows. So I saw this blanket and I thought that it would just be cute as a throw blanket. But it, I think it says, I love you till the cows come home. Look at how cute. Love you till the cows come home. It's very, very soft. I'm going to give that to her this weekend. It's got pictures of cows on it. That is adorable. That is adorable. Well, I'm excited to give that to her. All right. Oh, these are fun. I got little little hands, little hand grabbers. These would be great for your charcuterie boards if you want to be a little quirky. And they can you can grab little things. Or, you know, you can give yourself an applause. Yay! I don't know. They were cute. You could use them for fruit salads. You could use them for, if you have a picky child that doesn't like, you have to convince them to eat, give them these. I mean, maybe not in a restaurant, but if they need to eat their vegetables or their fruit, you could give them these and they could have a fun way of eating. Whatever works sometimes. My kids still call uh, green beans, green french fries, because that's what we called them when they were little. Green french fries. They still call them that. All right, I got a couple of these. They are um, organizers for pens or markers or whatever. But I have a thing right beside me and I don't really like it. So um, I like to um, color coordinate things in my planner. So I think this would be great to put your colored pens. You could probably put scissors in there too. And they do stack up nice. I don't know if I got any. Yeah, I think I got three of them because I thought maybe my husband might want some too but little plastic containers for organization for desk organization which means a lot to me I like to be a little organized you guys and I say you guys I mean you gals too it's everybody it's a new gender neutral term but look at this I'm not gonna put the I'm not gonna fuss with putting the hanger on it right now it's a little Christmas ornament of Mowgli. Mowgli. Don't get them wet after midnight or they turn into the gremlin. Look, he's got, he's so happy. He's got a little Santa hat on. He's ready for Christmas. But it does come with this little hanger that I will attach. And that probably will either hang from my car rear view mirror for the holidays or it'll hang on my Christmas tree. Honestly, I'll probably leave it out all year round. That's adorable. That is adorable. Just don't feed them after midnight. 
Oh, here's some more. Now these, these are spreaders. So there's a little bit of a different style. These are more like for your icing. This is more for your mixing, but you could still use this as a spreader too. But I got a couple of these. I love the, the way that they feel. They're nice and sturdy. So I got a pink and a purple. Oh, I got another little grabber. And I got another little hand grabber. Well, maybe for my one day grandchildren, they're like, well, Nana lets us eat with these grabbers. Drive my daughter nuts. This is another thing that I got, maybe for my background once I get it set up. And they are, and there's a picture of them on here, but they are little battery operated curtain lights. So you can hang them from your background and they're just battery operated. I just threw the cover on the ground. They're battery operated. You put the batteries in here. It takes three AA batteries and they are just little teeny tiny fairy lights. These are honestly really good to put in glass vessels as well. You can just turn them on with the battery pack. They have on, flash, or on. So you can have them on or you can make them, I don't know if flash means that they can twinkle. Those are teeny tiny little lights on there. So I thought maybe for a background for my videos or in as a, for display in some of my glassware. All right, here are some more purple flowers that are just like the pink. I kind of just wanted to order several different colors so I'd have them on hand. And I do, uh, I sell live uh, and it's nice to have little flowers like this that you can put into something that you're selling just to give your customer a little bit of an idea of what they can look like with some faux flowers on there. So really inexpensive way to add a little pops of color into your vintage glass. This, now I have one of these from Pampered Chef. I actually have a couple of them because they're amazing. But I wanted to get one from Timu and try it out. Um, and I think it'll work just fine, but it's a chopper for your meat. So your, I'm just going to take it off of this card here. It's a meat chopper. So you're, you know, you're making tacos. And you, if you're like me, you like the meat, the ground beef to be diced and chopped really, really fine. So you can use this and you're just chopping it as it fries. I've also used one of these when I am making chicken. If I put chicken in the crock pot um, and I'm making some sort of a casserole, you can then shred your chicken or your pork if you're making um, barbecue sandwiches. So this is really, really nice. Nice little chopper. I, get it, I got this one for my son because I have a couple of them already. My son lives on his own as well. So I thought that would be really nice for him to have one. Oh my gosh, I'm already done with this first bag. I have another bag though, I do believe, to open. Throw you down there. All right, the next thing, ooh, I did get these for my reselling business. I sell a lot of vintage jewelry and brooches. So these are just little clear vellum bags. So when I'm shipping them, I can put them in these sweet little bags and they're a little protective. And the presentation sometimes, when someone opens something from you, the presentation I think means a lot. And um, oh, it means a lot to me. It doesn't, maybe it doesn't mean a lot to some other people and that's fine, but it means a lot to me. So I thought these were a great way to have a little bit of pop when, some, when I've packaged something with some, with some vintage jewelry. Okay. What is this? This is a little, oh, I know what this is. It's, it's coming back to me now. You travel and you've got your battery charger or your camera charger, your phone charger, your um, headphone charger, your watch charger, all these chargers and all these different cords. And if you're like me, you just, you just kind of wind them up and you put them in a baggie. But now I have a little satchel to put them in. So this is just a little organizer for all of your cords. So you can wind them up and put them in their each little individual pocket. And then your bigger cords can go over here. So I think that's a nice little caddy to carry around uh, when you're traveling to keep all of your cords organized. So you don't put them in a baggie, which is typically what I do. But now I don't have to, because I got that little satchel. And it was a very inexpensive upgrade. It was an upgrade. All right, the next item now. <laughs> We always talk about, you can put a feather in it. Decorate with some feathers. Well, you know what? I have not had feathers to decorate with until today. Now I got these feathers. Blush and bashful. My colors are blush and bashful. 
leave me a comment if you know what that's from. A really good movie. But these are, they're not actual feathers. They are a synthetic material. And, you know, you can shape them. They are wired even up in, no, are they wired? No, they're not. So there's just a wire that goes straight down basically the shaft. So you can bend the, the shaft goes up to about right there. So you can bend those um, to put them in some vintage things. Or if you want, you could be a showgirl. I mean, that's a stretch, but we'll just stick them back here in the, well, here, I'll put them with my tulips. It's a very bohemian kind of look, right? All right, these next two things I've been waiting on because I cook a lot in the air fryer and I don't, I have never had the little disposable, it's almost like a big coffee filter. These go in your air fryer. So when you're cooking your, whatever you're cooking in your air fryer, you can put these little liners in and then you don't have to throw, you don't have to, you know, wash it every time. Because that's a lot of wear and tear on your appliance. So I got one for us and I got one for my son. Because he uses his air fryer way more than I do. All right, that's bag number one. Let me go grab bag number two. I'm back. Bag number two. This one also has a lot of boxes in here that really kind of got a little crushed. They did, but hopefully they'll still be good. We will see. I don't know what this is. It says sophisticated life. That's the life I live for sure. So sophisticated. Oh, this is a, oh, I know what this is. Well, I think I do. But it is a little <laughs> spinny tray for all of your like perfumes and stuff. So it's really pretty. It's got these gold accents here in this kind of an ivory white. And you can put your perfumes your uh, body sprays, your makeup even, and it will rotate around if you want it to. I mean, you could obviously use it for condiments too. If you're having a picnic, you put the ketchup, mustard, and that sort of thing in there, and it kind of elevates your, your picnic a little bit. This is plastic. The little legs are plastic as well, but I just thought that would be something that would be useful that I could have for a couple of different reasons, but I, I think I'm probably gonna use it as a vanity. This is a screen top shelf for your computer so you can decorate the top of your computer. I mean, I like to decorate everything I possibly can. So how does this work exactly? Okay, these little legs, you screw these little legs on and off and then you just kind of to where it'll fit. And you could have a little shelf above your computer. That's cute. I don't think I put anything real heavy on it, but it's a way to decorate your computer. All right, we've got some battery operated candles. Always a good thing to have with when you're displaying. And these are the kind that, see that little, they flicker and move. What kind of batteries do you take? They take three triple A's. I'm not sure that I have three AAAs to test it out, but it's one of those ones that the inside here, once it warms up, it'll flicker like a real candle. Oh, I think I got more. I did, because I want to use these at home. Yeah, that one, see that it flickers in there. Three AAA batteries for those. Did I get another one? Oh no, but I did get another shelf for my computer, because I got two computer screens. One on each side. I'm gonna balance it out a little bit. Oh, a little plant. Everyone, if you've been to Ikea, you bought these plants there because they're great. And they're inexpensive and you can just stick them in anything. That's kind of the idea of what I thought with this. Ooh, this one's a little bit elevated than one of the ones that Ikea have because the ones at Ikea don't have this fun little green. Then here is the top and you just spike that through there. So you could decorate it with this, obviously, but you can also put this in another little pot. So you've got a little faux plant. Just dump that in to a little vessel. Let me go find one. Hang on. All right, see? Now you can see a little bit of the top there. But if I had a taller pot, but I'm horrible at keeping plants alive, so I do like the fake. I do because I forget to water them. We're gonna put you right there next to your flower friends. I might have ordered, yeah. I ordered a couple of those because I will use those quite often. All right, what's in this other bag or box? 
Ah, it's a mystery. Let's open it up. Oh, there are a little more little plants. Oh, how cute. Okay, there were two different varieties. I guess you got both of them. And again, very much an Ikea thing because Ikea does sell these as well. But these are great just to add a little bit. You have your stacks of books and you just add a little pop of some greenery there just to add a little accent to it. So these are great. You can also just pop these in a vessel um, if you have something else that you want to layer. It's something like a vintage piece of pottery. Oh, oh, I know what this is. How many of you, raise your hand if you have a Stanley Cup because they're all the rage right now. It used to be Yeti. I have a couple of Yetis and I love them. But now the Stanley uh, cups are all the rage and they're very expensive. So I'm going to try this dupe. It does come with a little plastic straw. It's a nice size. If I'm going to an auction, I want a drink that will last me all day. So we're going to give this one a good try. It's stainless steel on the inside. We've got a place for the cup for the straw and you can also slide that aside so you can sip out of it. I'm a straw girl. So we're going to keep it on the straw side. But the nice thing about these two is that they are, they fit in your cup holder. So that's a plus there. Um, so we're going to give that a try. Before too long, it'll be all covered in stickers because that's typically what I do. Cover them all with stickers. It's like a locker. Our, our cups and our laptops are kind of like our lockers back in the day when we were in school and you decorate your locker. I got some more flowers. I think I got several here, several little bundles of flowers because they're great to use. These are just white. Nice little accent there. Again, they need to be shaped, but if you buy them from the store, they also need to be shaped as well. Scissors. Oh, these are dip. These are special scissors. These aren't just any everyday scissors. These are kitchen scissors. They are for your um, herbs. So, like I said, I we do the we do a lot of Hello Fresh and Home Chef meals, and so sometimes you have to you have a lot of um, spices and herbs that you have to chop. And I think these are great. You could just use your scissors to get your basil, to get your sage, to get your um, cilantro, and then it has this little cleaner here when you wash it. You can get it out. So that, that, I'm going to put that on top of that other chopper. That will definitely be used a lot. These, next thing is a faux fern. Faux fern, again, to use in displays, just to have little accent pieces. It's going to need shaping a little bit. Oh, there's two bundles in here. You spread them apart, and you can put them in a vessel. And you could actually even add some of the florals to it as well. Um, so those are really nice. Very inexpensive. Thank you, Timu. Oh, these are really cute. They're coasters and they came in this little organza baggie. They're little cork coasters. Live well, laugh often, love much. Friends are the flowers of the garden of life. Love, love, love and a peace sign. These would be really cute if you were giving someone like a Starbucks gift card. You get a pack of four of them. And then you could give them a little coaster, kind of arrange that in their mug with a gift card. They're a nice cork. Those are really cute. Great gift to give somebody. And you could give them to four different people. What does this say? Tomato. Oh, this is for your tomatoes to get to core them before you cut them I think I think that's what it is it's a kitchen gadget I'm assuming I could be telling you wrong but I'm assuming you put your tomato here oh you probably put your tomato there and then you can get use that to get the core out or you set it on there I don't know how this works but we'll figure it out but I think it's to core a tomato. Or maybe you could do it with a strawberry too. I think it goes like that. So you put the tomato there and you... I think that's what that is. It says tomato cutter. It's a tomato cutter. We'll give it a good high school try. Or a good college try. I think that's the phrase. I love 
and Amy's enchilada. If you are on my main channel, you know I talk about Amy's enchiladas a lot, but I like to heat them up in the microwave. This is a collapsible plate cover for your microwave. So let's pop it up. So you put that over your plate and then you can collapse it to stow it away. It will be, uh, it will prevent your microwave from getting dirty. We've got all these little vent holes there too. So that's kind of nice. I think I definitely will use that. And I did pick all these things out. They, Timu just didn't say, yeah, that looks like something she'd like. I did go on and I did pick out all of these things that I'll, that I'll be using. These are some more things that I got for my reselling business when you are selling little smalls. So these are little, you get a lot of them too. They're stacked up like that, but that's them spread out. But when you close them up, they're these little capsules. So if you're selling little bitties, um, it's a way that you can ship them and protect the item. I mean, you're still gonna need to use paper and bubble wrap and all that, but it can protect the item even from rubbing up against all of those other things. So I thought that these would be, these would come in helpful to my reselling business. So I, that's why I ordered those. There are some more flowers in here. They look just like the other ones, but they're in a dusty blue. So I'm not gonna worry about opening those right now because we've already seen them before. Ooh, this is a little spreader for your cheese. I love cheese. I love charcuterie boards. They're fun to make. And um, this is just to spread some soft cheese. Or honestly, I could keep it, you know, just keep it next to your toaster. It's stainless um, for your um, cream cheese on your bagels. Or if you have a soft cheese to spread on a cracker for a charcuterie board. That's a nice little, nice little nugget of a knife there. This I actually got for my son. We have one very similar to this. And he had kind of mentioned that he'd like to have one, but it's not a puppet, not a puppet, but it is a, to, you know, to get your hot things out of your oven. So I think you're supposed to do it like that, but that's going to go to him. So he could have one too. Ooh, this was just floating around in the bag. What are you? I don't know what this is, but I, are you a bottle opener? It was just floating around in the bag. There's no bag that it goes in. It's a mystery tool. Mystery tool. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is for cakes. You make a layered cake, or you make a cake in a, in a round pan and you want to make it into a layered cake, you gotta cut it. If you can't cut in a straight line, raise your hand. Hey. Hopefully this will help. I mean, I don't make a lot of cakes, but it, it's almost like a big cheese cutter. So you've made your cake, like this is the cake, and then you want to trim it, take that layer off, and then put your goodness in the middle and then put the top back on. So with this, I can actually maybe try it and give it a, tr give it a good old try. It has these little stoppers, so I think you can use that as your base on the, on the cabinet, on the countertop, to cut a nice even line, or a somewhat even line if you are me. This is another one of the refrigerator mats that I am going to utilize for sure. That's all that's in that bag. Oh wait, this was from that mystery tool. It says a lemon slice. Is it a lemon zester? It says lemon slice. We'll see. I'll get a lemon and I'll give it a try. Next is this may be the last thing i'll have to I'll have to look at my other oh this is a big bouquet of flowers Ooh, those are nice these were very inexpensive too i mean these bouquets when you go to a craft store like michael's or joann's can be upwards of like 16 17 dollars or more and i love the look at those they're like um a magnolia maybe and we've got some of the little baby's breath in there and some of the accent flowers and they've got this nice pretty dusty pink there in the middle very romantic those are really pretty and I, again very inexpensive everything that i showed you was i think under 150 dollars for everything that i showed you so that's pretty good let me just double check to see if any of these other bags 
because I got a lot of Timu bags stacked up over here. Let me see if any of these other bags are any other things that I have ordered. And that's it. The other two bags are going to be in upcoming Timu hauls right here on this channel. I do like to do try-ons, plus-size clothing try-ons from Timu, so those things will be coming, those videos will be coming out very soon. I want to say thank you to Timu for sending me these things. It's going to be, it's, it's, I'm going to have a lot of fun getting these things, these things all arranged and used a lot of useful things that I absolutely will use in my daily life as far as in the kitchen or in a home decor. So check out Timu. The link is in the description below. I got the items very quickly. They are, it is a very affordable way to, you know, get some things that you might want to try to use. Maybe things that you're like, well, I would like to use that, but I'm not going to pay $50 for that, but I'll pay $4 for that. Uh, so just go to try, try these kitchen gadgets and little household items over on Timu. The link is in the description below. Thank you, Timu, for sending me these items and for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. And make sure that you are subscribed to The Misty Show as well as my primary channel, which is Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. It's all things vintage and antiques, live reselling, and shop with me's. So go over and follow me there as well. Thank you so much to Timu and thank you for you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.